So the next city I'm shooting in is Minneapolis, and I've got my photo challenge right here. It's going to be an interesting one. Today's video is sponsored by Good Vibes River Gear. They're based out of Craig, Colorado, and they hand make everything they manufacture. I'm going to say that again because you just don't get to say that very often. They hand make everything they manufacture. Comes right out of Craig, Colorado. It's all in-house designs. They do everything themselves. Josh and Megan, the owners, are fantastic people. They're ambassadors to the river community. And they also have, besides the stuff they make, they have everything that you need to get you downriver. And they only, they only stock the best stuff. So check their link out in the description below. All right, let's get back to this video. So this is my next shooting challenge. Uh, this is going to be an interesting one. This box is packed full of goodies. I'll leave this right here. Uh, we've got a nice carrying bag. Mm-hmm. Very nice. That comes in a little pouch. We have this beauty. <laughs> this is what we're going to be using. Um, should you not? All right. It's a little baby memory card. It's adorable. It's got a little, I don't know what that is on there. I really don't know what that is, but it's adorbs. A USB card reader. Comes with a lanyard. Look at this fancy lanyard. You think your Nikon strap or your Sony or your Canon strap is fancy. Look at this. And then it comes with a USB micro charging data cable. So, oh, and one of these guys. Let's do a little comparison between my favorite setup ever and the challenge. This here is my, like I just said, my favorite setup I've ever used. It's an A7R4 with a Tamron 70 to 180 2.8. Particularly during COVID, I believe that you have to give people space on the streets. Right now, I don't think people are really enthusiastic about you going up in their face with a 28 millimeter and snapping some crazy shit. This setup gives me the space that people deserve during a global pandemic. Let me just put it that way. Also, this is a 61 megapixel sensor. It's a beast. I had to build a RAID just to handle the data that's coming off this camera. Now, on the other hand, literally on the other hand, we have uh, this one. And this is the Merry Christmas camera. Magic Fox kids camera is what the box says. So um, it comes in a variety of different flavors. The Christmas one I thought was the most hilarious and it happened to be the most cheap. I'm gonna be doing a series of old digital cameras as well for street photography cha challenges. But right now, oh, this one's on the top of the list. This claims to be 40 megapixels. I don't know if you believe that or not, I realize the lens is the majority of this, but um, just look at the size of the body. I'm not going to say they're advertising falsely <laughs> on Amazon, but they're absolutely adverti falsely advertising on Amazon. So um, let's get into this camera because it's hilarious. Uh, there's games on it. You can play MP3s. It's so feature rich. Now that we've got this fancy dancy camera that plays mp3s plays games and takes 40 megapixel images and is probably 1 50th of the weight i think we can get rid of this obsolete hunk of junk actually i do want to make a comment on this 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 box definitely says ages 3 to 11 i'm gonna guess that that little lanyard piece and there's other pieces in here that are not meant for children three years old Look at this, this comes off real easily. Three years old seems a little young to be giving people, giving kids the pieces to swallow that, you know, like there's just too many small things. Um, let's put the, the furniture back on now that I've shown you that. Anyways, let's uh, dig into this camera. So this is the menu here, it's pretty basic. It's got all the icons. I mean, it's uh, that's video here, we've got games here. It comes with snake, it comes with a version of Tetris. You can play your MP3s here. Um, I don't know if it, it has to have an external speaker. I don't, it has a built-in microphone on it for when you're recording video, so that's kind of nice. 
Um, I'm going to shoot some video of this on the street, and I'll, I'm going to definitely show you talk, me talking at this camera. So, um, yeah, let's get into this one here. This is the settings menu. I'm drifting. So there you go. 40 megapixels is the audacious claim of this camera. The resolution, I believe, is the back panel, and I believe the back panel actually has higher resolution than this camera can take, even though it claims it's 40 megapixels. So let's just grab one real quick. So we've got a little test scene set up here, and uh, we're going to snap a photo, and you're going to see exactly how terrible this is. Oh shit, I think it might have just frozen. <laughs> <laughs> it did just freeze. Okay. Oh, there it goes. All right. Well, maybe it's taking 40 megapixel image. And that's why it took so long to process. So let's try this again. Oh, man. So that's the lag time in between photos. Watch this. We've got a whole... One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four. Awesome. So let's take a look at those. So as you can see, it's uh, image quality is not great. Kind of what I expected. I don't even think they said 40 megapixels on Amazon. I think they said 20, but even then that's a stretch because it's probably more like a two or four megapixel camera with just really, really terrible color retention and contrast and IQ and pretty much about basically everything. But what do you expect for a $12 Christmas camera, right? Now, if you're watching this video and I've already shot and edited the Minneapolis trip, you're gonna find that right here. Click on that, it's gonna be some fun images. You're gonna watch me struggle, probably struggle bus hard with this um, to grasp how to shoot with it. It's gonna be a fun one. If you are not subscribed and you wanna watch me struggle bus the hell out of this camera on the streets of Minneapolis, hit that subscribe button. It's the only way you're gonna get info when, when that video drops. All right, we're gonna catch you beautiful people in the next video.